뭐 겨울에 한국에서 네. 겨울에 네. 이제 자연산 네. 어, 제철에는 좀 제일 맛있는 건 지금은 이런 게 맛있어요. 대 대방어라고 해요. 대방어. 이런 <웃음> 게 맛있고. Oh man, we're gonna eat that. Oh. The first time I came to Chagachi Market was about 10 years ago, and I was just absolutely amazed by the expanse of Korea's largest seafood market, the second largest seafood market in all of Asia, right behind Tsukiji. It's just a visual feast, getting a lot of fish that's still in the tank. You can come in as just a normal buyer and get some of the freshest seafood anywhere in the world. We're gonna to talk to one of the vendors, Mr. Kang, and he's gonna show us what he's selling right now, and then we're gonna go right upstairs, we're gonna eat it. Wow. This is the freshest damn yellowtail you've ever seen. I'm gonna go for the classic. Mm. This is Korean raw fish. I feel like it's still alive. And, and what's happened is the meat is still kind of seized up. It's definitely firmer, it's chewier. I remember when I, I was a kid, I went out in a boat and I went fishing with my dad. Just the look of horror when these guys are catching the fish, they're pulling out, then they bust out a cutting board. I'm like, what are you doing? Slice up the fish. <laughs> it's just like right out of the ocean. And I just remember thinking how jarring and crazy and brave that was. But just you see that tradition of like, hey, Koreans, we want to have the fish as fresh as possible. <laughs> 네, 주문하는 동시에 제가 요걸 잡아 이제 어, 조리를 해서 음, 다 잡아 가지고 2층에 이제 제가 갖다 드립니다. We are going to have just an absolute feast. This is freaking perfect. This is the perfect Korean dining experience. This traditional meal is called hue. It just means fish or seafood. It is really a traditional thing that you would have in Busan. They're using snapper here. It's a nice delicate fish. It's got a good chewiness. Wow. That's fantastic. It's so simple, so beautiful. I've had a lot of hue, and this is truly exceptional. I really think that this is so distinctive compared to what you would find in Japan. You have this sort of interactive meal. It's certainly a thing that you come with the crew and you, you celebrate and you have, you sort of commemorate like abundance, right? Abundance of the ocean, abundance of your life. And I'm gonna keep going. 사장님, 이거 제일 좋은 거 뭐예요? Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that guy, he's my my enemy. Let's eat it. Let's cut it up. Still writhing around. I honestly think this is either horrifying or amazing to you. you there's no middle ground. This one's coated in some sesame oil and some actual roasted sesame seeds for a little more nuttiness, a little more richness. I think we all know what that looks like, guys. So on the table we have sea snail and clams and oysters and abalone and they have to be eaten quickly so I'm gonna just dive right in. Sea squirt. I've had sea squirt before. These are not for hue beginners. It has a really iodine-y flavor. So I'm a little scared. Nice. All right, okay. The less you chew it, the better it is. I need a drink. <laughs> sea cucumber. This is a gnarly looking sea creature. Whoa. So once you get through the initial bite, it is extremely firm. Like a really hard candy. The creature has definitely seized up. We looked it up on Wikipedia and one of the names for this is penis fish and also like innkeeper fish. Masa. It's great. Wow. Quite nice. It also has that same chewiness, sort of that squid-like give. Steam clams. Abalone. 
totally unadorned. It's almost like cooked in its own broth, right? Steamed in its own, its own flavor, its own essence. Snow crab is definitely one of the most expensive, thing, you know, seafoods you can buy. Mr. Kang was saying the snow crab that actually comes from the waters here is so expensive and um, sometimes difficult to get that a lot of these are actually from Russia and I'm guessing closer to the Arctic. So what he apparently does is uses a combination of ice and some lemon juice. So what happens is the flesh, when it comes right out of the crab, it's kind of gooey, but it seizes up this way. It makes it a lot more palatable. Wow, that's so good. So much of that incredible sweetness that you get from crab. That's freaking ridiculous. I think it's not a real Korean meal unless they have a problem figuring out where to put everything. Wow. Yes. <laughs> this is so much better than any other snow crab that you've ever had. This is the rest of the crab. Steamed beautifully. Oh. So now what they want to do is they're going to take the, the shell uh, and they're going to make a fried rice, put it in there. Crab fried rice. We have one more thing coming out that I'm very excited about. This to me, I think, is the essential way to finish a meal like this. It's called meontang. And it's really just all the, the extra pieces, the, you know, you don't want to throw anything away. You don't want to waste anything. So they're taking the extra pieces of the fish and they made this beautiful soup with it and adding a ton of aromatics. Yeah, you can see they just put the whole fish head in here. Tons of flavor. <laughs> Shabu shabu, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wow. He's taking the bits of the snapper and making the soup, but if you want to fortify the soup with, with actual fish and, and, and the meat of the fish, you can just put it right in. Wow. Busan is such an amazing, unexplored part of Korea that I wish I could spend more time in. You know, this is a Korean seafood feast. This is how you explore and experience the abundance of Korea and Korean cuisine. Um, because the ocean surrounded this peninsula, our people drew from the ocean and we drew abundantly. We got a lot of stuff and we know how to eat it. We love eating it with such simplicity. Seeing this part of Korea, this aspect of Korean food makes me so happy. Um, I, I, feel, I feel like I've, I've come back to something really great. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more of K-Town, click right here.